I'm so tapped up and welcome to Let's Play Bunker Punks. This is an early access game. Oh, we even said so right there. Uh, I don't usually show these, but uh, this is really fun. Um, not many options to speak about, but uh, change your resolution, I guess. It does full screen window properly, unlike too many games. So I just Shall got this character. The characters are a little voice acted. Oh, recruited. Don't mess with Texas. Wait, I, I, do I get to use two? Well, I, I played as Molly Pop the first. Oh, I'm on it. Do I get to play as two characters this time? I'm confused. Okay, so I did one run and I died just before this video. I I was doing pretty good until the first difficulty spike and uh, introduced a whole bunch of new enemies that killed me pretty quickly. Um, I also have to blame a little bit on Parker. I I tried to record that run, and then Parker just started talking, and, or he actually jumped up on my, on my desk and, uh, ruined everything, basically. What? Oh. So, this game's very Doom-like visually, um, well, sorta anyway. Some obvious differences, like the, uh, Y-axis. Um, it's also a roguelike, which is why I died and got a little confused. I, uh, unlocked a new punk, and I unlocked some new features at my bunker, which we'll see in a bit. Not too long. Um, it's a roguelike first-person shooter. It has not been ridiculously difficult so far. I don't think this has secrets like Doom. I haven't found any anyway. Um, what was I saying? Um, one thing I have noticed, I, I haven't seen any weapons with different right. stats so far. Uh, every pistol seems to be the same pistol. Uh, I'm not- that may just happen later, or maybe I have to unlock the better drops? I'm not entirely sure how the unlocking works. If I die, I'll show you the- the tech is something you buy upgrades between runs with. Um, credits are something you unlock items within a run. So like, there's that multiple layers of progression stuff that lots of roguelikes have nowadays. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, I found the pistol pretty, you know, it's a pretty good all-around weapon, so I just tend to start with that. I uh, don't know if I can change characters, or if I have to play out this character until she dies, and then I change to the rifle woman, or what. I, I only had one character the first time. I also unlocked the ability to carry two weapons last time. I don't, I can't pick up that gun, but later on we'll be able to carry at least two guns. We have four slots of armor. It has a teeny bit of Borderlands in it, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem as loot focused, at least not so far. But once you, between levels, you fully heal and you get to your bunker. And so we can make an infirmary or a firing range. And I think you have to unlock all of the other stuff with tech. Um, like, I, we didn't start off with this rifle range, and, um, I unlocked that after I died in the last run. So, first of all, we're just gonna upgrade the pistols. Because those are very common, well, that's what I start with, for one thing. Not actually sh entirely sure of the difference. Oh, we can select the runner. Alright. Yeah, here's, there's two gun slots, I'm not sure if... I forget when I actually unlock that second slot. This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. So I rather like that um, health isn't persistent between like every level. Like there's the. I really like the break period. Basically, we get to go to the bunker, calm down for a second. You fully heal. You get some upgrades. Um, it fixes attention. I don't tend to like in roguelikes or rogue lights where you. Um, you, uh, basically every hit matters for the entire game, and it's pretty frustrating until you're really good at the game. Like, messing up slightly even on early levels is really frustrating in, like, Binding of Isaac, because you carry that damage with you. You heal, you can heal in Binding of Isaac, so it's, I mean, it's not as big of a deal as long as you pick up tons of health, but, uh, you don't always get that lucky. 
Or maybe you're ca playing a character without red hearts. Yes, you are, Parker. All right. Yeah. Um. It just felt. It always feels frustrating when I lose like you know any sort of permanent resource early on in the game, and it just Here feels, you know, there's no major permanent resources in this game except I mean money, but uh, you constantly get more of that. So, ah, we lost tech. The one slightly frustrating thing in this game, drops disappear very, very quickly. You only have a few seconds. Like, watch that armor, or that ammo. It's like, maybe 10 seconds or less. It's gone pretty fast. Oh, we got running shoes. I don't have a problem with the running speed in this game, so I'll probably switch those out. Last run, I just focused all on my pistol damage. I probably should have focused more on armor. I'll try and do that this time. A frustrating thing is you you get less armor than you get <laughs> damage up, but uh, it doesn't seem like like this is a different game from Binding of Isaac, and it feels like um, insta killing bosses is less relevant. Like in Binding of Isaac, if you can o kill something fast enough, you do it doesn't matter how much health you have because you won't take damage. Yeah, I mean you have to be decent at dodging too, but. Uh, in any sort of new game like that I'm not really used to, I'm I'm gonna sort of focus on that uh, on the defensive side. Just to be on the safe side. I actually Queen of the Bunker. I'm actually gonna try out my new character and go back to you can go back and uh, get the levels you didn't select. I think I'll take it. I wasn't sure if a rifle meant sniper rifle or assault rifle. I've only found assault rifles so far. Oh yeah, and there's a... As you might have guessed from the name and the signs and everything, it's a cyberpunk game. We're actually fighting against the, uh, called the corporate government. Oh hey! A weapon with different stats for once. Hold on. Oh wait, no. That's just the difference between pistol and assault rifle damage. Never mind. So the assault rifle is pretty nice. If you, if you're pretty accurate, it's basically double ammo. It's basically a pistol with double the ammo. But um, of course, you can run out of ammo a lot faster too if you do spray and pray. Oop! Oh. I didn't actually know how those things attacked until now. I thought they were just cameras. They just sort of bum rush you. I guess they do like an electric attack. You see. It so far, I still haven't found any new weapons. I'm hoping that will change. I rather like, you know, loot and stuff like this. It's, uh, maybe it's just more of a pure action sort of thing. Well, it's not super pure action because, of course, we've seen the uh, bunker building aspect. You can go back and explore, but uh, I think I've seen pretty much everything. Next floor, then. All you have to do is clear the enemies in the room with the elevator. You don't have to kill every enemy on the map. The voice acting really isn't too bad. Obviously not like super professional actors, but uh, they're not bad for an indie game. I've heard some. I've heard some bad ones. Um. Oh, melee sucks. I've gotten the melee weapon that I've seen is a bat, and it, it's like a pistol. But you have to be in melee range, like that, it deals pistol damage, it's, and it's not super fast either, it's just, it's just an extremely short range pistol with infinite ammo, that's all it is. It's not like super murder gun, well I mean not gun, but yeah, it, it doesn't destroy everything or anything, so it's uh, not impressive. Also those little red friends, they will explode if they get um, close to you after a little while. Oh! Like that! Well, almost. I think I just picked up health. Pharaoh Psycho... Psycho... Psychonamics. I, I can't read that. Thinking for you! That's what it says. There's some neat little environmental art here. Downsized? Be a proxy man. Apparently if you get downsized... You turn into one of those things we've been killing. Oh. So I may as well buff both types of weapons that I'm using. I like the sort of XCOM aesthetic of the base building. 
So we can't upgrade the quarters. Yeah, no implants. We don't we can't afford nano machines. Nano machines. Um I'm gonna assume R and D has more of um whatchamacallits. The things. The tech. That's the Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, it's running wear. Yeah, like I said, running speed not really a concern. So uh just gonna ignore that. Oh, I won't ignore that though. So I guess with the roguelike structure, um, the game gets significantly easier as you progress because you can unlock more, you know, people to play as. You get more lives, in a sense. Healing up is kind of tempting. Well, I might as well. <laughs> that was dumb. Healing up isn't too amazing. I would prefer money or something, but um, like I said, running speed doesn't even matter to me personally. Oh crap, that thing is mean. It's not too bad, it's not even like mid-boss tier, it's just something that has a pretty good amount of health that uh, you just need to run. Ah. Oh, we got the creds, just barely. What shot me? What, what, oh. Excuse you. There's these trash things around. They don't seem to contain items. If they do, it's pretty rare. I might shoot them from time to time. There's lots of explosive stuff decorating the area too. Oh wait, that was just health. I guess I'll try to be slightly thorough. Yeah, let me... Excuse me! I was trying to demonstrate something. Rude. Yeah, let me show you how terrible the bat is. It is actually slower than the pistol. I haven't actually tried it on an enemy, so maybe it does more damage than it says it does. Which would be really rude if it's true. Next floor. But I'm not really interested to see. I, I, I want my ranged weapons. It can't run out of ammo, Here but... I'm only worried about running out of ammo against big bosses that would um, be really, really scary slash impossible to fight melee. Like, uh, the thing that killed me before was shooting giant rockets and had a billion health, and uh, I, I, I don't imagine that I could beat such a thing using a stupid dorky little bat. You know, I'm not Ness, I can't, I can't do those things. Oop. I wish the critical hits felt a bit more satisfying. I I can see when I get them. I, in fact, I think... Hmm. Actually, maybe they're not critical hits. I, I use... I thought you get critical hits when you hit the red things, but... I seem to be dealing the same amount of damage. So maybe there aren't critical hits. I don't know. I, hmm. Yeah, I guess there aren't critical hits. Never mind. I'm just talking nonsense. I see you. They look like little buddy bots, don't they? The ones that explode. Oops. I don't know why I did that. <sighs> Keep looking. Hope that. Oh! So loot can drop from those. Interesting. It's fairly rare. So it's like. Made it. Yeah, so. It's like, um. Shooting fires in a Binding of Isaac, then. Here we go. So research, I'm gonna guess, has more tech uh, drops. I don't know, I haven't noticed the differences between areas. Maybe it's just a aesthetic. Well, I doubt it's only aesthetic. A running watch. We don't need that crap. The armor is much nicer. Okay, I wish I had more armor. Plus 50 tech, nice! That is a lot. The most expensive items I saw were 200 tech last time. Most of them were 25, 50, or 100. That thing takes a lot of rifle shots. I'm pretty sure the pistol does wait. 
What is my percentage? Oh, maybe it's just the stat difference then. Yeah, I don't need that. It's just running speed. Hmm. That's a wrap. The elevators remind me of Wolfenstein. I guess Doom does that too. Well, sort of. It has just exit signs that just magically teleport you. But Wolfenstein has those elevators. I never beat Wolfenstein. I never even beat the first episode of Wolfenstein. I think I might have only had the shareware version anyway, so maybe there wasn't anything to beat. Um, I was okay at Doom. I, I could never... You as, as a kid, I was terrible, of course. I, I would always put it on the highest difficulty and play it with cheats instead of playing it at a low difficulty with without cheats. For some reason, that felt... Oops. I actually wanted pistols. Whatever. Both are good. Oh, these are both. I thought there was only one. Okay. Um. Right, we're not going to go to the four level one. You have more health and you're faster? My coronation is at hand. Why are you so much better? That is rude. Oh, hey, I kept the last thing that I had. Like, I'm not sure how that works. It, you can keep one thing in reserve, no, but it doesn't... It doesn't seem to, um... Indicate what you'll keep. Like, I guess you just keep the last equipped item after you swap it out. Dr. Gloves. No, don't need that. I don't actually need the last equipped item, but I guess it's nice in theory. But, like, what if you had an item in reserve that you wanted, but then you picked, like, there was a new thing and you had to abandon, like, and eh, never mind. There doesn't, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen tons of variety in equipment anyway, so probably not a huge concern. Uh, it's just a bonus equipment slot, really. Ooh! Nice. I'm gonna have to keep shooting those things, then. Oh, there's little wanted posters, too. Zero sums, I guess we're called. To report delinquency. Delinquents get downsized. Motivational, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> I thought that just randomly opened. It was... It opened because of gunfire. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Money. Hold on. My brain isn't working right. Yeah, it's still the same. Probably shouldn't have stopped to check that gun in mid-combat, but whatever. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I really like those things. They give you a good sense of panic, but they don't really just immediately murder you or anything. I like enemies like that. It gives you that feel of intensity, but without just, like, appearing behind, like, just immediately murdering you if you're not, like, already shooting them with a great weapon or something. It's like, it's not like a Binding of Isaac boss where the first time you see it, it's gonna immediately kill you. It's just nice and fun. What is this? Dr. Scrubs. Yeah, very limited amount of weapon or equipment that I've seen so far. It, it may be, you know, a feature they're working on, you know, early access and all that stuff. Uh, to be honest, I haven't read what um, Make way what uh, features they're planning to add. I, uh, oh yeah. Oh. Clear this. Oh, they bleed! I didn't notice that before. So yeah, these are humans. Well, ex-humans, probably. What is that? Yeah, it just explodes. I was wondering if it would like release a robot, but no. Uh, but yeah, a review copy of this game was provided by the developer for uh, free of charge. Proxy man to observe and control. I love that. The larger right eye. Oh, for Pete's sake! I was observing the motivational posters. You complete jerk. Look at you. Now you're dead. That's what happens to rude people. I shoot them in the face. Don't be rude. Some might say that shooting people in the face is rude. You know what I say to that? I shoot them in the face. All right. I gotta train myself to not ignore those things anymore. Oh God, it's that thing. Okay, I actually didn't die to that thing before. I died to um, these really bad turrets, like dangerous turrets, not like, oh, there's damage fall off. 
Oh god. You don't want to get hit by that. I mean, you don't want to get hit by anything, but uh... Oh. That's some good Doom feeling. That, that's something a lot of first person shooters miss now, is that feeling of dodging projectiles deliberately, not just you know, accidental or like, you know, you have to be MLG pro no scopes, like, hit scans is just boring. We need more projectiles, we need more slow stuff going around that you can dodge. Well, then. What floor type was that? Security maybe? Logistics? I'm just wondering if the weapon, or if like the, the mid boss sort of things are more common on certain floor types. Since this is a roguelike, I do assume I will immediately die the moment I see the first boss. That's sort of a trend, is just the first time you fight any boss in almost any roguelike, you're gonna die, and you know, it's just a learning experience for the next time you fight it. It's a little frustrating, but uh, this has some nice in-between run progress, so uh, I don't mind that too much. Like I said before, you, you can unlock stuff to expand your bunker, or you know, you unlock more punks, or the ability to use more punks in a run. So, you know, basically more lives. I feel kind of dumb just oh, yes. spraying and praying. But, uh, I guess that's how rifles work. I'm a little used to the pistol now, but, uh, rifle is pretty effective and... You can save ammo if you want, but you don't have to, which is nice. Though I was low on ammo when I died, so when we get to some later levels, I'll try to be a bit more careful. Nothing to hide, nothing to fear. You're always being watched. Nice place, isn't it? I always love how subtle uh, cyberpunk things are. Just really nice and subtle, you know? Just... Yeah, I, I do not like the shotguns or the rocket launchers in this game. We haven't seen a rocket launcher. Uh, that's surprising. It's not like super rare or anything. Um, it, it is like the Doom rocket launcher where you can hurt yourself. Well, I mean, most rocket launchers really. Ah! This is in the most annoying spot. Oh, I guess I can do this. Whew. That was kind of dumb. Just ramboed into that shot. I knew I was going to get hit. Oh, whatever. Um, was there another exit to this room? Now we've seen everything. Alright then. No, we don't need those. An appropriate end. <laughs> See, I really like the nice snappy levels. Um, we should be seeing one of the harder areas pretty soon here. Rifle. I'm really enjoying these rifles, so I think I'll go ahead and up that. Actually, hmm. Now I'm gonna go for rifle damage first. And real quick, My we're gonna... <laughs> She's got some narcissism issues. Nice bunker. I think I'll take so, I assume there's at least one enemy or uh, punk for each uh, weapon type. So there should be one for rocket launchers, should be one... No, uh... For melee. There's actually, the one for melee is on the main menu screen, so yeah, there's one for melee. I'm not sure what else, because there's a... There's more... Punk types than I've seen weapon types so far. Really could do with more loot variety, and, like reason to switch, like inspect weapons, because like I, I like the pistol and the assault rifle, and once I have those two, I just have no reason to check out any weapon basically. Ooh, thank you. It is kind of a shame that you can't spend tech until you die. I, I guess that gives you. I guess if you could spend it before you die, for one thing, you could more easily beat the game in one run, which could change, you know, changes the roguelike dynamics, because, you know, you're supposed to die. It's it's frustrating, but 
it is intended for you to die, so it's not like you're doing bad. It's just you're doing as intended. But um, Shall we carry on? it would also mean that when you die, you don't get that nice reward of getting new stuff. The Make fall. I'm not sure if there's a plan to be like a full story or if it's pretty much just like this. Like I said, I didn't really check out the uh, the early access um, game plan. I could swear I heard a pinky from Doom for a second. Oh god! <laughs> Startled me. Um, yeah, one of those sound effects sounds like very a part of the pinky snarl. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, like I said earlier, I got I got a review copy for this, so I didn't honestly look too much at the the roadmap. I just I people on Twitter were saying it was great, so I just decided to check it out. I'm a little late with this, um, but I mean it's early access, so maybe I'm a little early with this. Whatever. Oh god, it's that thing. Might as well clean everything out first. It's a dog. I just noticed that. It, it acts like a dog, but I didn't notice the barky sounds. I keep hoping, but nope. This game could almost work with Doom's um, no vertical aiming thing, but uh, it seems like the flying things you are meant to vertically aim at, so... I can see why there isn't an option to lock it. I was, I was, when I first launched it up, I was sort of wanting, at least for nostalgia's sake, to lock it to the old, you know, Doom style horizontal aiming only. If you can stand still, you're as good as dead. Yeah, I do really like how the gameplay keeps you moving. Uh, it's a lot like Doom in that, because there's, there's the projectiles everywhere. There's the melee enemies, and there's none of that hit scan crap. Very little cover. Good sense of speed. Well, I mean, good movement speed, period, not just sense of speed. Sense of speed is more like a Sonic game sort of thing. Boop. Yeah, with the, with the new Doom not sucking, which is just still mind-boggling, I can't believe it doesn't suck. I should get it sometime. But, um, anyway, I hope we see more, you know, fast first-person shooters like this. Projectiles! Give me some, you know... And the funny thing about fast games like this is that you die- you don't die as fast as in, you know, Call of Duty-style games, because they have to keep the time to kill really low on those, because then everybody feels like a winner. Because, you know, you can get, like, two body shots with the sniper, like, maximum. And you kill somebody, and you know, I guess if you're, you know, that that keeps you killing people, even if you suck. So everybody feels like they're doing, you know, they're helping. But, uh, it's also very frustrating to just randomly die because, you know, a stray shot happens to hit you and you have, like, effectively about four health. I'm lost. And, uh, there's no, you know, slow projectiles to dodge, you just you know, instantly get hit, and it's just... I'm not a fan of that kind of gameplay. I prefer my Dooms and my Unreal Tournaments. I need to try that new Unreal Tournament. I, I It's a beta, but uh, I've heard good things, and um, it's all free. If you haven't heard about it, the, the new Unreal Tournament, it's all, like constantly in development. It's uh, it's all free. Um, I think it's like... It's got like a paid mod sort of scheme, I think. Um, it sounds pretty cool. I, Check it out sometime. I don't tend to do the competitive stuff anymore, though. Um, yeah, I think I'll get those nano machines next time. Oof. Medical, medical security. So there's going to be a boss in that one, I'm sure. Ah, let's play it safe. I'm sorry, but, uh... Why is Mollipop just straight up worse? 
whatever. We're doing too good for me to just rush in and die. Nice bunker. I think I'll take it. Sorry if you don't want to see me play a little safe, but uh, like I said, this is my second run, so uh, I don't want to lose too fast because I'm doing being stupid. I feel like I'm running out of things to say, sorry. This is why I don't tend to do too many super long videos. But uh, I'm really enjoying this, obviously. And, uh... I would, I would say that variety is an issue so far. Boop, 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 boop. The core gameplay is great, and, uh... It's important to get that first before you start adding tons of crap. So... I think the core game is great, so they just need to work on, you know, adding more content as far as the early access stuff is. I wouldn't mind a more complete options menu, too. Um, can I see that in here? Oh! There's actually more options in here. It's just volume and stuff. I mean, it's not a big deal, but, like... Now, we have a world gen. I don't think you can actually set a seed. Like... Oh, and a daily run or something could be cool too, but Make way for it's fairly basic so far, but I mean, I haven't played it enough to get tired of it either, so let's think about roguelikes. You, you kind of have to play them quite a while, but uh, you know, I've been saying that I don't want to do roguelikes in early access, and I keep finding good games that are either or both early access or roguelike, and I ended up showing them. They, I will use this rocket launcher only because we have not seen a rocket launcher yet. Despite the reticle, it does not have any drop off. And yes, it will hurt us. On the plus side, we can hurt enemies around corners, I guess. Yes, we can. But I don't care for it, so we're not gonna use it. I mean, it does seem effective, decently. Because you can hit enemies around corners depending on, you know, positioning. Oh, crap. But... Eh, I just... I don't feel confident enough to use it. It just... I prefer the simple effectiveness of what I've already got. Oh, God. I should not have traversed two rooms like that. I should have gone slow. Money. Alright, I guess we gotta go back. Yeah, I can swear I scored criticals on these things, but maybe maybe what I'm thinking of crit as a critical was just not losing damage to uh, damage fall off. Aw, oh, crap. I keep taking these hits I don't need to take. Uh, it's good that I went to clear out this easier facility, because I probably would have died if I was this reckless. Oh god. And the other one. Hey, you can't already be firing. Would you- Oh gosh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, whoop. Didn't see you, little guy. Hey, turrets. I need this. Though the, I will say the, the rapidly disappearing items, it does give you that moment where you think, okay, I have to rush into this room to get that health, even though I might get hurt, because it'll disappear real soon. Well so, it's not just dumb, you know, Items disappear because that's how video games work. It, it keeps you moving, which seems to be a primary goal of a lot of things in this game. And also, like with Neurovoider, I, I felt like it just takes too long to get a build going. Um, the sort of upside of the weapons being a little bit boring, I, I feel like I'm just, you know, hitting the ground running in this game. I, I don't feel. Like, the first levels are wasted time. You know, they're fun from the get-go, and- oh god damn it. You know, they're not mechanically boring. You know, they they have less enemies and stuff. 
but it's not like I heard you. Oh God, how did you hit me? Oh God, die. We have to be a little careful now. Oh, for Pete's sake, some health would be nice. Oh my God, a rocket launcher again. Rest in peace, money. I think that was money. Wait, was the health? Man, for crap's sake! I didn't think you could fire two that way, that fast. Whew. Why did I back up? So far, I've not had to fight one of those guys in close quarters. I'm sure it's a different beast. Was that a dog? Okay, now. Oh yes. Doctor shoes. What is this? Eh. We just need this health somewhere or something. There is not. Wait. Garbage. Did I look in here? I did not. Yoink! Health. Precious health. Only seven? Yeah, the health pickups aren't very significant, but uh... <laughs> Look at the trail of destruction we leave. So... I think I'll split the video after this next map, and hopefully won't immediately die as I start the next half. I'm, I'm hoping to at least get to and die to the final boss, or that... I'm not sure if, like, there's another, like, thing after this? These things are what I died to. They fire a lot. Whew. Like, I was in a huge room with a ton of those jerks. Those guys look like they're being hit stunned, but they can fire while they're being while they're in that pose. What is that? Oh. Nah, I need my health right now, so I'm gonna leave those. Whew! A little too early. Down you go. Oh! Alrighty. Shotgun. Who cares? Alright. I like those just, like, nuclear- oh god. Don't lose the tech- no! My tech! Health! Health! Let's see. Okay. Now that I think about it, the gameplay totally makes sense. Focus- like, the disappearing items totally make sense. Because it makes playing it too safe and like sitting back, it means you're gonna lose some items. So uh, it gives you a risk reward thing. I was kind of hoping he would like shoot into the wall. There you go. It's gonna be a little. Oh. I can't be that paranoid because I'm out on Santa Bama. Oh my god. Ow. Wait, is this the last floor? I hope so. Hmm. Nah. Long may she <sighs> See, this way ending a level with low health is a relief instead of a, oh dang, I'm screwed next time. That's all I can afford. See, why is Mollipop just lower stats? I mean, she gets better pistol damage, but... Whew. So, what do we want? Oh, right, I was gonna split the video. So yeah, stay tuned next time for when I immediately die and embarrass myself.